If you want to be successful in math, well, you need to know how to work with fractions. And of course, all of us learned about fractions way back when we studied basic math in elementary and middle school. But uh, let's do a quick review here. So we have 1 and 2 thirds plus 3 fifths. All right, so how do we add these fractions? Well, this type of fraction right here is called a mixed number fraction because we have a number and then a fraction. And then this number right here is called a proper fraction. So let's just do a quick review. So again, this is a mixed number fraction. Anytime you have a number and then a little fraction to the side of it, this is a mixed number fraction. Now, what makes a uh, fraction a proper fraction is if the numerator, which is the top number in a fraction, is smaller than the bottom number in that fraction. That's called the denominator. Well, this is called a proper fraction. But if I had a fraction where the numerator was bigger than the denominator, like in this example right here, well, this is called an improper fraction. And we can convert improper fractions into mixed numbers and mixed number fractions into improper fractions. And this is what we're going to have to do in order to add these two fractions right here. Okay, so to add or subtract fractions, you need to have the same denominator. All right, so let's go ahead and convert this uh, fraction into an improper fraction. The way we do that is we take this denominator, 3, and multiply it by the big number. So 3 times 1 is 3, and then we're going to add 2. So that is going to be 5. So we have 5 over 3 plus 3 over 5. All right, so we can't add or subtract fractions unless the denominators are the same. So in this situation, we need to be thinking about the lowest common denominator. All right, so what is the LCD here? Well, if you said 15, you said the right answer. So what we need to do here is change each of these fractions such that the denominators are 15. So let's start over here. So we can change this 5 to 15 by multiplying it by a 3, but we also need to multiply the numerator by a 3 as well. And then we could change this 3 into a 15 by multiplying it by 5, but we need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. Okay, so 5 times 5 is 25, so we have 25 over 15, plus 3 times 3 is 9, 9 over 15. So the correct answer here is going to be the sum of the numerators. So that's 25 plus 9, which of course is 34. So our final answer is 34 over 15.